Top story number two tonight. As the temperature rises, so do the savings for the city of Dayton. Two News reporter Kelly King getting answers about how the warmer weather is keeping more green in Dayton's wallet. Katie, the city says the warmer the weather has helped them gain not only money, but time. Since we haven't had any snow, crews haven't had to plow streets, put salt down, or even clean trucks. Time that now can be spent elsewhere. It won't be a white Christmas this year, but that's okay for the City of Dayton Public Works Department. The increase in temperatures and the decrease in gas prices are welcome sights. What this is giving us an opportunity to do is kind of do some other cleanup work um, around the city. So what we're able to do is kind of mulch the leaves in the park a little bit more, um, do some more tree removal, stump removals, uh, again continue to patch potholes and do street repairs. Flashback to last year. Snow pounded the Dayton region in November 2014, sending crews into overdrive. Public Works Director Fred Stovall crunches the numbers, saying this is one of the warmest winters he's ever experienced. He says this time last year, he spent about 35000 in overtime once the flakes fell. This year, the city says it's ahead of the game, with no overtime dollars spent on snow removal. And probably the only downside for my employees, they don't get to make the overtime money for the holiday season. That means more opportunities to pay crews extra hours in the mowing season. In the summertime, then maybe we can spend longer days cutting grass longer. That way we're keeping it cut more frequently or we're not letting it get as tall in certain areas. The dip at the pump has also helped. Yeah, that's how we probably save this $15,000. When the snow does fall, the city says it's ready. Stovall says he's sending out plows on dry runs every couple weeks. And that's just to make sure the trucks are fine-tuned and ready to roll in case we do get a snow event. The city says overall in 2014 and 2015 it spent 585000 on salt and 350000 on overtime. Kelly King, 5 on 2.